you might be wondering what is whatsapp marketing well think of it like having a super cool way to share fun stuff with your friends but instead of just emojis and jokes you get to tell them about awesome things you love like your favorite toys or games in this crash course we are going to learn how to use whatsapp to tell people know about the coolest stuff you have to offer it is like having your own magic wand to spread the words and make your messages stand out in the crowd get ready for a journey filled with easy tips tricks and lots of fun as we explore the ins and outs of whatsapp marketing so buckle up hit the subscribe button and let's dive into the world of whatsapp marketing all right guys let's start this whatsapp marketing course with some useful insights here i have mentioned why whatsapp marketing or why you should use whatsapp marketing well guys there are multiple reasons which i have mentioned in the upcoming slides that will help you to convince using whatsapp marketing instead of going any other marketing like email marketing or any different marketing mode so the main or the very big reason is global reach of whatsapp platform whatsapp has almost or more than 2 billion users worldwide so it has a very big number of audience and almost every contact or your every customer which you have in your business might have a whatsapp account so obviously it is very easy to reach your existing customers or even you can reach your new customers as well but reaching existing customers using whatsapp is pretty easy and pretty effective as well right then here are a few more points which will help you to uh, get convinced using WhatsApp marketing. Obviously, it is very cost effective communication way or cost effective way to communicate. Uh, unlike email marketing or anything else, then obviously it is instant messaging, not like email marketing where you send the email. But obviously the user or the customer doesn't check emails every time or frequently in a day. Right. And then third option is rich media sharing you can share videos you can share different kind of images you can share documents so tons of uh, media sharing option is available in whatsapp marketing right and in email marketing or any other mode of marketing media sharing is pretty hard to do and then the last and very important reason to use whatsapp marketing is the open rates whatsapp gets almost 98 percent open rate which means if you are sending 100 messages or 100 uh, marketing messages to your customers or to new customers there's a high chances that almost 98 people will open your message but on the other hand in email marketing if you go with email marketing there's a high chances that out of those 100 emails only 21 people will or 21 customers will open your email that is why people use WhatsApp marketing instead of uh, email marketing these days. Now, there's any uh, many other features of WhatsApp marketing as well, which will help you to automate your whole marketing strategy. Right. So WhatsApp provides or WhatsApp business provides API application programming interface. Basically, using WhatsApp API, you can automate your messaging and customer support on WhatsApp. So here I have men mentioned WhatsApp offers a dedicated business API that allows larger enterprises to integrate WhatsApp into their CRM system. Obviously, if you are if you uh, are a larger or large enterprise, definitely you might have a CRM system. So what you can do is you can integrate your WhatsApp business API to your CRM system and it will help you to automate your whole messaging and whole marketing and even your customer support because many businesses provide customer support using WhatsApp, right? Because it is very easy to reach and easy to communicate. And obviously this enables businesses to scale their operations and provide personalized experience efficiently, right? So uh, instead of calling method or instead of emailing method, this method is very efficient and even you can personalize the experience to customer to customer. Next up, we have other benefits of using WhatsApp marketing. First is obviously customer engagement. If you are getting 98% of open rate, definitely you will get good amount of engagement as well, right? Even the customer will uh, refl reply you back on that message as well. and. If we talk about emails, there's very rarely customer reply back on those emails. 
so engagement rate is also high if we are going with whatsapp marketing then obviously it is very secure and encrypted whatsapp provides end to end encryption that's why it is very secure instead of any other mode of marketing third is verified business accounts yes whatsapp or you can say the parent company of whatsapp which is meta verifies all business accounts right you can't get whatsapp business i mean whatsapp api or this bulk messaging system uh, without verifying your business so whatever the business you are seeing or whatever the mes business messages you are getting on whatsapp is totally from verified businesses so that is a sure short surety from meta itself so it so obviously it increases the chances of getting good results from whatsapp marketing and then we do have e-commerce integration yes you can integrate your e-commerce system into your whatsapp business as well even uh, you can add few products or good amount of products into your whatsapp account basically whatsapp contact as well so if someone wants they can directly order a product or a service from your whatsapp number as well right then you get analytics and insights if you are using whatsapp uh, api right and in this course i'll show you how to use whatsapp api because this is a pretty tricky part you can't directly access whatsapp business as i told you you need to get verified your business through meta in order to use whatsapp api right so it is not uh, pretty easy or pretty simple so stay tuned with this course i'll explain you everything next up we have the course overview what you will learn in this course obviously you i'm going to uh, teach you whatsapp business the general whatsapp business application we get on play store i'm sh i'm gonna show you how to use that application then i'll explain you about whatsapp bulk messaging if you are not using api or uh, meta services then how you can do bulk messaging or why it is uh, very harmful for your business i'll explain you all these things then i'll show you whatsapp api yes i have mentioned harmful because whatsapp bulk messaging applications are pretty harmful if you you are not using api yes uh, wait for the lesson to get detailed explanation then i'll show you how to use or how to access whatsapp api or how you can use the whole platform of whatsapp api so guys in order to log in or to create a whatsapp business account obviously we need to install a whatsapp business application because there are two applications available in the play store or the app store the first one is whatsapp the individual application basically this is for the personal use if you search whatsapp only then you will get this whatsapp messenger right but if you type in here whatsapp business then you will get this application this is something different and the logo is also different just install this one and wait for the installation to get complete so yeah it's done now let it install the downloading is done within few seconds it should be installed okay it's installed now now you can directly open from here or you can search it on your uh, app menu and you can open the application like this and this is how the interface looks like now you just need to hit the agree and continue button and here it is asking you to sign up with the same number which you are uh, which we are using in this mobile phone uh, i mean uh, this is the same number which we are using in our whatsapp messenger but if you have or if you want to use different number then you can click on this use a different number otherwise you can use the same number right so i'm obviously clicking on the different number now it is asking me to uh, allow the this device to send notification i mean allow this application to send notification so i'm allowing it for now now i'm entering the number now after entering the number you just need to hit the next button now it will send you an OTP so let me just to automatically verify with the missed call to your phone so no I don't want to verify with the missed call so verify another way so I want to get verified with the SMS so basically it will send me an OTP and by using that OTP I can verify so I got I received the OTP on my different number so let me just enter that OTP over here 
okay so i've entered the otp now let it verify and create the account now verification is complete now it is asking me to uh, easily obviously add all the contact details and all so i'm not giving access to it right now even restore the if we do have backup you can take the backup as well but uh, not now now you can set up your account basically you can enter the business name you can enter the category right from here whatever the category you have but if you want you can skip it for now like you can just hit the next button just uh, let me enter the business name marketing funders okay and let me select the category which is in our case it would be education right so i've selected the category and the organization name or the business profile just hit the next button now it is asking your business name doesn't follow our name guidelines okay uh, actually we have entered whole in capital that's why it is now it is fine hit the next button now it is creating an account and the account has been created now let me just click on not now our business account has been created now so i do have already you i am already using this number in my different uh, mobile phone that's why uh, it has the few chats right so this is how you create your business account in whatsapp business application i hope you understood the process so guys we have signed up with whatsapp business now it's time to understand the interface of whatsapp business application right there's two types of what whatsapp application on play store if you go on play store and search whatsapp over here you will see that you do get two types of application the first one is whatsapp messenger and the second one is whatsapp business let me just type here business and this is the second application right now i do have the second application over here now i'll show you the difference i mean the basic interface overview and i'll show you how you can set up your store and use all the business tools available in this application right so let me just open the application this is how the interface looks like there are four options chat calls updates and tools right so first three option are pretty normal which you get in whatsapp messenger the personal application in the personal application as well where you can see your chats your call uh, recent calls history and then the updates where you can see the your context status and you can see different channels as well if you have followed someone right now after three these three options first second and third you get this tools option where multiple options are there right so from here you can manage your business on whatsapp application basically now uh, before uh, explaining you the tool section let me just go to chats option again and let me just click on this three dot icon in the top right hand side corner here you can see advertise option business tools if you click on business tools you will land on these kind of applications i'll explain you all these things then you do have new group option new broadcast option basically if you want to create a new group or new broadcast you can click here then you get the communities option if you click here you'll be able to see the communities which you can create on whatsapp as well right then we do have labels i'll explain you the labels and then link devices if you want to link this whatsapp account on your pc basically what uh, if you want to use whatsapp on whatsapp web then you can you uh, use this option you can just click on link a device and you'll be able to scan the qr code uh, which is showing on your pc and you will be able to link then starred messages is basically the messages you have starred and then the orders option is here because you can create a store on your whatsapp business application as well so if you are creating a store obviously you'll be able to manage the orders as well right then you do have these settings basically the uh, account settings where you can uh, manage your profile then your business tools right now let's go back and directly click on the business tools option so when you click on business tools the first one is business profile then catalog catalog is for as i told you uh, if you want to create your store obviously you need to create a catalog where you'll be listing all your products or services sometimes right then you can manage your orders from here then we do have this advertise option because facebook i mean 
not Facebook exactly, WhatsApp exactly offers you to advertise your business on Meta's different platforms like Facebook and Instagram. So what Meta allows you, you can uh, promote this kind of ad. Basically, uh, your ad goes here. Basically, here you can add the image. Let me show you how this works. If you click here, you will be able to open your uh, camera or video basically so, so you can select your photos I mean not camera you can select a photo or a video available in your uh, mobile phone and you can promote that image and when the user click on the button this is the whatsapp button they will land on your whatsapp business so basically they'll be able to directly contact you if you advertise through this option right from here you can connect your insta and facebook account as you can see my facebook page and instagram account uh, is not connected facebook page is con connected already right i'll explain you all these things as well but let's talk about the business tools properly first let's talk about the business profile first so what you can do is you can set up your business profile you can set up the cover image by uh, directly capturing the image from camera or you can select the gallery for example if i select camera i do have the logo in front of me so as you can see this is the logo i'll select this like this and what I can do is I can select this image and I can use this image as my cover image something like this even I can select my profile picture here I do have three options avatar and gallery and cameras again I'll open the camera if you have image in your gallery you can select that as well there's no issue let me select this I mean capture this and just select this image like this and my profile picture or profile image and my background or you can say the cover image is done you can set the name of yours basically you can enter the business name over here for example i'm entering marketing fundas global this is the name i mean this is the number uh, business name i have entered now it is asking your business name will be changed to this just hit the continue button and your business name is changed right even you can set up these things while creating your business profile right so you can do that time as well otherwise you can leave or skip those part and after that you can properly set up these things then second option is for category you can select the category like whatever the category you are in you can select it we do have automobile services apparel art and entertainment beauty cosmetics tons of options are here i've selected marketing agency already right then i can select uh, enter the business address over here so i'm adding f12 Added F12 basically I've added entered the address and you can just hit the save button and your address will be saved then you can select your website so basically whatever the website URL you have in my case I do have marketing funders.com right so I've selected this and just hit the save button and this is how it's done you can set your email address a brief description about your business and your business opening hours you can select that as well you, basically your business hours right so these uh, options can be uh, added in order to customize your business details and then we do have this product option where right now i don't see anything because we haven't added any product so we'll add the product as well let me go back and let me go to catalog and from here we'll select a product right so let me just click on add new product here from here you can select the image you can either go with your direct camera or you can uh, select a image an image from gallery as well again i'll select 
from camera and I'll select this just for the demo purposes right you can select multiple images if you want but I'm going with only one and here I'm selecting basically the item name so whatever the pro product you provide you can select here so in our case we provide services so I'm writing here digital marketing service right here you can set the pricing whatever the pricing you offer for example you take $500 for your digital marketing service and here you can provide a brief description like what you are going to provide in this service right and then you can uh, if you want you can hide this item in future if you want or you can leave it obviously if we are creating right now we don't want to hide this but if in future you want to hide, hide this product or service or this listing you can just check this box right and then just hit the save button and your one product has been created so in the same way you can create multiple products right or multiple services it is taking a little bit more time to save the data so guys as you can see my one product has been created in the same way you can create multiple product products right and even if you want to share your catalog to your uh, existing customers what you can do is you can just click on this link basically the share link option and copy this link and directly share to your contacts right now let me go back my order I mean my one product has been created now if you go to business profile you will be able to see one of your product in your product options right now after this, this is the order section where if you get any order, you will see the order option or the order request over here, right? So this is the order request and the history. Now let me go back and then after this, we do have a reach and more customers. So I've already explained you uh, how this thing works. Basically, if you want to create a new ad, something like this, right? So it has already picked up my uh, profile picture in order to run my ad so what I can do is if you want you can change the media as well you can change this image to different thing right and you can run this ad on Facebook and Instagram and if someone clicks on this ad they will directly land on your whatsapp and they'll be able to message you like if they want to know more about your product or service right so this is how you can reach more and more customers but obviously in order to run your ad you need to connect your facebook page from where it is going to uh, show your ad and your instagram account so for that you need to click on this and you can select here i've already linked my facebook page right so what you can do is let me first so basically if you click on remove whatsapp so this will remove the whatsapp button from my facebook page which i have already linked so what you need to do is you need to log in your facebook account which you want to basically a facebook account which has your facebook page and which you want to connect with your whatsapp account right so log in both the accounts your facebook and whatsapp account in your same device and you will be able to seamlessly connect with your facebook page you just need to uh, give some permissions and done nothing else right in the same way you can connect your Instagram as well like as you can see here I haven't connected my Instagram profile so in Facebook you can connect your page right but I mean in your in Instagram you can connect your profile because in Instagram we don't have uh, such page kind of things right so just click on this plus icon and here it is asking continue to Instagram to add WhatsApp to your profile. So if you hit the continue button, it will open Instagram where you can log in. And once log in, basically after adding your ID and password or by login directly from, uh, from Facebook, you can simply, you'll be able to simply log in or connect with your Instagram account as well. Right, so it is pretty simple. You don't have to worry about it. Just follow the few steps, right? Now, after reach and customer options, we do have this messaging option where we do get greeting message, away message, quick replies and labels. So greeting message is like whenever a new customer uh, messages you, this will automatically send to your customer. Here it shows welcomes new customers automatically. 
So if I get a new message from a new customer, I mean, if I get a message from a new customer, new contact, what this will do, this will send a automated message to that customer within few seconds. And from this option, you can basically customize your greeting message. Right now, my greeting message is thank you for contacting Marketing Fundas. Please let us know how we can help you. Right. And here you can set the setting like greet customers when they message for the first time or after 14 days of no activity. So if they uh, message me for the first time, then this greeting message will be sent or if uh, there's no activity for at least 14 days, then they will be treated as a new customer. And my again, if after 14 days, they sent me a message, they will get this greeting message, right? If you want, you can change this greeting message as well, right? And here you can see recipients. So basically you can select the recipient. Uh, if you want to send to everyone, you can select to everyone. If you want to everyone not in address book, then uh, you can select that. If you want to uh, basically a few of your contacts from receiving this greeting message then you can select this and from here you can select the contacts right and then you do get the only send option to if you select this you will be able to if you select this only send to then you will be able to select the contacts whom should the greeting message basically the contacts will uh, receive the greeting message this is how it's done then we do have away message away message is also an automated kind of message but this is when your business or when you are away from your business so basically if someone is not there to handle your contacts handle your uh, communication part then this away message can be sent to that customer right your business is closed for two days for uh, any random reason but obviously, if your business is closed for two days, so obviously you need to notify to your uh, users. So if someone messages you, whether it is uh, your existing customer or new customer, they will get this away message. Thank you for your message. We are unable right now, but will respond as soon as possible. You can obviously edit this message as well up to your uh, choice, right? And you can even schedule this message as well, right? So if you want, you can schedule this message and you can select the recipients as well, right? So this basically works with your business hours. So whatever the business hour you have added or mentioned in your business description, according to that away message will work. So let's say if you have selected like after 10 p.m. your business is closed, then the away message will work automatically, right? Let me close this. Then we do have quick replies. Quick replies is also like you can select multiple. I mean, you can create multiple quick replies by clicking on this plus icon. So what you can do is you can create a shortcut. For example, you type in here star and question mark. OK, not star and question mark. You type here ASDF, right? And this is the shortcut and you can select basically you can write the reply message over here demo 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 and demo right so i have written five times demo obviously it is going to take time i can write whatever i want right and i can type this quick reply message by just typing this shortcut key asdf let me save this and let me show you how this works let me go back let me open uh, let me open this right and I'll type here A S D F and hit the end. Okay. And hit this button. Oops. I d I've done a small mistake. I need to type in small A S D F because I've sa saved small A S D F. Once I type small A S D F and send the message, this will not work. Keep this thing in mind. You need to type this forward slash button in order to. Uh, use this shortcut replies or quick replies option right so what you need to do is whatever you are uh, on a whatever you are doing for example you need, want to send them a quick reply so what you can do is you can select this forward slash and type asdf and the message will appear in front of you just send this and send demo right i mean and send the message so whatever you have written in your uh, quick replies you can send in uh, this way right even for example, I have multiple uh, 
quick replies over here even i have selected one added one image as well so if i type in price over here this image will send automatically see i'll go back to business tools and here quick replies is done now we do have labels so labels is basically the label we get in physical format in the same way you can use labels in your uh, whatsapp as well because obviously in whatsapp we get multiple or hundreds of contact contacts right it is not like your personal whatsapp where you do have only few contacts no so what you can do is if you uh, uh, basically if you create labels so basically you can label your contacts according to these different colors and the tags so what you can do is you can label your contact in new order pending payment paid so for example if i have a contact for example i do have this contact right this this one and i want to label this contact let's say i have to get a payment from this uh, contact so what i can do is i can label this contact from here oops not from here this is the option first option and these are the labels i have created right so i can label this contact as a new customer oops as a new order pending payment for example i have to take payment from this customer so i'll add a tag over here or the label over here to uh, this customer to this contact as a pending payment now what i can do is i can go to labels directly from here and i can find out who have a pending payment label contacts so i can select basically i can find out in a, this way so this is a way to segregate your multiple contacts and to give you a less experience in the management part of your contacts right after this let me go back to business tools again i hope this is done so business tools are done then we do have if i go back to advertise option you get you get the same option which i have seen in your business tools now it's time to talk about the tools right in the top and not top down right corner you will see this tools option and here you see almost the same options which we get in the business tools so business tools and these tools are almost same from here you can manage your business profile then you can manage your catalog or your different products or even you can create your collections as well right and you can manage your orders you can advertise from here you can connect your facebook page and instagram account you can set greeting message away message quick replies label right so everything everything can be uh, managed from here but you get one performance i mean uh, some kind of analytics from here that like how much profile views you got in last seven days how much catalog view views you got how much status or how many status views you got you can uh, check this out here right explain you a little bit about the advertising part that's it and after this your whatsapp business application is done there's no any extra thing you need to know everything i've completed in this video itself right so let me just click on this advertise part and here you can see that it has already created in a post which is going to be shown to your uh, facebook and instagram users right so this is how the ad is looking uh, is going to look like if you want to change the media you can select choose other media and from gallery or from camera you can select the image right but let's say if you want to go with the same image and the same details you can click on get started you can select the platform like uh, in Facebook this is how the post is going to look like on Instagram this is how the post is going to look like right you can add the description obviously uh, whatever the description you want to add you can add it from here and after this you can hit the next button and you can click on continue and this will log in and start running ad after adding budget right so this is how you can run your ad so whatever the budget you want to add into your uh, whatsapp business you can add it it can be ten dollars it can be twenty dollars a day it is totally up to you whatsapp business application is done now we are going to talk about bulk messaging and whatsapp api now guys we are going to talk about whatsapp bulk message senders these tools or these applications helps you to send multiple messages like hundreds and thousands of messages in just one go to your contacts 
Now first we are going to talk about the pros and cons of these bulk message senders. Then I'll suggest you or I'll give you my opinion like you should use these bulk message senders or not. So let's talk about the pros first. So if I scroll a little bit here, here I have mentioned four pros. The first one is very affordable costing. Yes, uh, if you buy these tools, you will get, I mean, easily you can get these kind of tools at just five, 10 or $20 per month, right? And affordability wise, these tools are very cheap and you can say very affordable, right? Second point I have mentioned over here, easy to use and access yes there is no any uh, verification or any kind of hard setup process no you just need to enter your contacts and just send your messages this is how it's done it is very easy to use and access and then the third point is you can send any message yes guys if you are going with the legit way which is basically the whatsapp api right uh, the legit way is to use WhatsApp API to send bulk messages, right? If you are using that method, then you can't use any message or whatever the message you want. No, you first need to approve the message from Meta so that you can send those messages to thousands of people in just one click, right? But using these bulk message sender tools, you can send whatever you want to your contacts. Now the fourth point is you can white label and sell it to yes guys you can buy these tools for example you have purchased these tool for fifty dollar and now what you can do is you can paste your logo on that tool and you can sell that tool to market I mean in the market because these kind of tool are pretty easy to made if you are a normal software developer or if you know how to code or how to create an application you uh, can create a white I mean you can create a bulk message center tool right now these were the pros right now I'm going to talk about the cons of this tool or these kind of tools so the first or the very major uh, con is normal script based tool as I told you these are just normal script based tool you just need to create a script and you are good to go you can run that script and your tool your tool will be working properly right then the second point is again second is also a very major point which is uses whatsapp web technology to uh, access your account access basically to message or to send messages to hundreds or thousands of people in one go and the main point is whatsapp doesn't allow us to do like that right so if whatsapp caught you that you are doing something like this or you are using something uh, any tool like this whatsapp bulk sender tool kind of these things then definitely your account is going to be suspended right so using these bulk whatsapp bulk message sending tools is totally prohibited from whatsapp's side right if they caught you then definitely your account is going to be suspended so and in future you'll be not able to create any whatsapp account with that mobile number so keep this thing in mind right and the third point is not authorized from meta and whatsapp so these applications is not authorized or don't have any permission from meta or whatsapp to uh, do these kind of things or to provide uh, bulk messaging services to their customers no they are just uh, they have just created a script using whatsapp web technology and they are selling their service or their application nothing else right and even you can create or even if uh, a 15 year old who know how to code can create these kind of tools then the fourth point is your number can get blocked as I told you if whatsapp caught you that you are doing these kind of stuff or you are using these kind of applications then definitely you are going to blocked or basically your number is going to get blocked now, if you don't know what is what are these WhatsApp bulk message sender tools, so basically what you can do is there's no any specific name or there's no specific brand who provides these kind of tools because as I told you that these tools are pretty easy to made and uh, anyone can create or anyone can sell these tools, right? So what you can do is you can go on Google and just search WhatsApp bulk message sender, right? 
that's it this is the keyword you need to enter and just hit the enter button and you'll see multiple options over here as you can see cheapest price bulk message no delete no sender id 100 percent something like this right and this is the site is 99 smsservice.com totally cheap one then digiwork.in.net pay once use unlimited then there's one more try for free send whatsapp bulk message so these are the tools which you can get or which you can use if you want to get blocked so my suggestion is not to use these kind of tools but yeah businesses use uh, the, the small or the individual kind of businesses use these kind of tools frequently and sometimes they get success too but most of the or majority of time their number mobile phone gets i mean mobile number gets suspended their accounts get su suspended and they just fall under this loop they buy a new number they create a new whatsapp account they connect with these these whatsapp bulk sender tools and then again they suspended the number then again they buy the number and the loop just goes on right but in my opinion if you want my suggestion so don't use these kind of tools and after this i'm going to talk about the legit way of sending uh, thousands or even hundreds of thousands of messages in just one click right now guys we'll talk about whatsapp api first we'll understand what is whatsapp api then we'll understand how we can use whatsapp api to send thousands of thousands bulk messages in just one click right so let's go to the next slide here i have mentioned a small definition of whatsapp api or whatsapp business api basically it is designed for businesses to communicate with their customer through whatsapp yes if you are a mid size or large size business then you need to access whatsapp api in order to communicate with your customers and if you are a micro business or a very small business then you can use whatsapp business application that would be enough for you but for mid size businesses or for a large scale businesses whatsapp api is must because without this they'll be not able to communicate with their customers through whatsapp or on whatsapp right now how we can access what uh, whatsapp business api or whatsapp api what are the ways or what are the modes like uh, directly we have to mail whatsapp or directly we have to go to meta's uh, website or what what is the procedure right so there are only two ways to access whatsapp api the first one is whatsapp business api which will be provided by bsps whatsapp business solution providers or you can say business solution providers right then the second option is whatsapp cloud api which can be directly provided by meta itself right so only two ways whatsapp if you are going with whatsapp business api then bsps there are multiple bsps available in the market you can contact those bsps and you can access whatsapp business api or in simple term whatsapp api right and if you want whatsapp cloud api then you can directly uh, connect with meta's team and you can access cloud api now you might be uh, wondering like what is the difference between both these two things basically there's no difference api access is same all the features in business api and cloud api is totally same that is just a pricing where you see a difference between business and cloud api and nothing else right now first let's talk about whatsapp business api like how we can access whatsapp business api and what are the pros and even cons of whatsapp business api then we'll talk about cloud api right so in the next slide first i have mentioned over here like the api or the api feature is mostly or majorly for businesses not for individuals so here i have mentioned it is a tool that lets you business lets businesses connect with a large number of customers on whatsapp they can automate messages send notifications and provide customer support through api right so this basically api or whatsapp api is for businesses not for individuals you won't find a whatsapp api for personal use on your phone right so i hope this confusion is not be appeared again now let's talk about the whatsapp business api so as i told you whatsapp business apis are provided or hosted by bsps business solution providers now you might be uh, 
listen about Wati, Interact or AI Sensei. So these are WhatsApp business solution providers or these are BSPs who have access to Meta and have rights to provide API services to their customers. Right. So earlier Meta doesn't use to provide their cloud services. There was only one option to access API and that is through BSPs. But right now they have two uh, options. If you uh, want then you can go with BSPs otherwise you can directly connect with Meta and you can go for Cloud API right second point is BSPs who act as intermediaries to help businesses get approved for WhatsApp business API so basically these BSPs act or work as a intermediaries so this basically what they do they fill a, an application in the name of your business right and they submit that application to Meta and once Meta approves your application, then you will get the API, right? It is very hard to get API access. It is not like you just have to sign in or sign up with your uh, Gmail ID and you have the API access. No, it is not that simple, right? That's why all the businesses who are listed on WhatsApp business are totally verified and to provide these kind of this kind of trust, obviously you need to verify all the businesses. So that's why they these BSPs helps businesses to fill their application and submit to Meta. Then the third point is the BSPs need to perform API software upgrades periodically. Basically, this is from a BSPs perspectives. What they do, they uh, periodically upgrades their API software in order to provide all the features seamlessly. Right. Fourth point is BSPs need to pay the cost of setting up and maintaining their servers as well as they pay, uh, they pay per message sent or conversion following WhatsApp API's pricing rule. Now, there's a pricing for WhatsApp API, right? Now, the, what is this pricing? Meta has set a pricing for per message and for per conversion. What is this conversion? Basically, if you send a message to your customer and if the customer messages or replies you back, then that is a conversion, which means the conversation is started. Now you can talk or you can uh, take the conversation further. So that will be counted as a conversion. So meta charges for per message basis and for per conversion basis. And if you are using BSP, then BSP will charge a little bit extra on all these message sends and conversions. So compared to cloud API, WhatsApp business API is little bit costly, little bit, not that much because if you are a business and you are sending thousands of messages, so obviously per message cost would be very low. But in return, you are getting a seamless interface, user interface, because these business APIs provides a very useful and interactive user interface, which is very easy to use and very sometimes becomes very handy as well. And compared to cloud API, this is very big plus point, right? So I hope you understood about WhatsApp business API. Now, now let's talk about WhatsApp cloud API, which is provided directly by Meta, right? So in the case of the cloud API, Meta hosts the API on their servers. So I've already mentioned that uh, in business API or WhatsApp business API, all the server or the ev all of the data is hosted on BSP's server, right? But on the cloud API, all the data, everything is hosted on Meta's server. Second point is Facebook offers direct access to cloud API. So in this case, the business itself need to fill in the application and submit it to Meta in order to verify their business and can be listed on uh, WhatsApp business, right? Or WhatsApp business cloud API or WhatsApp cloud API. Now the third point is all the software upgrades are performed by Meta itself. So there's no need to worry about that because uh, sometimes these BSPs takes time to upgrade their systems. So this is kind of a drawback, not that much, but yeah, these, uh, BSPs are very active like Wati, Interact, AI Sensei. These are very popular in the market, but if you go for very cheap or very bad reviewed BSP, then you might face the issues, right? But these BSPs, you will not face any kind of issue. Then the fourth point is Meta pays the cost for cost of hosting 
a business will only need to pay per message sent or conversion so obviously in this case in the uh, case of cloud api obviously meta handles all the thing so what you need to do is what i mean what you need to pay is only for the message and the conversion there is no any extra cost because there is no any extra mediator in between but the drawback is that you don't get the world class interface the interactive user interface if you are a large scale business then obviously you can create your own interface with the help of your team and or developers team obviously and you can connect that uh, cloud api with that interface which you have created in house but if you are a mid size business then i would suggest you to go with business api which will be provided by bsps where you don't need to create your own interface and handle all of these headaches right so if you are a very large scale business you can go with whatsapp cloud api and if you are a mid size business and have good amount of uh, customer size then you can go with whatsapp business api i hope you understood the basic difference between it is actually it is not the basic only this is the 100% all of the difference between whatsapp business api and whatsapp cloud api now guys there's another question comes into your mind how to access whatsapp api so you can go with bsp business solution provider or you can go without bsp as well with cloud api right for example if you are a big insti institution or a big organization large scale organization then you can go with cloud api and to access cloud api you just need to go on google let me show you and type in here whatsapp cloud api just that's it and hit the enter button and these are the search results you will get cloud api meta for developers or you can go with this option get started cloud api meta for developers right so when when you click here you will land on this kind of page where all the cloud api re related information is here like how even you can use cloud api is mentioned over here right everything is here you just need to click on get started and follow the procedure follow the process and you'll be able to uh, get cloud api right but here you need to understand that you will not get that fancy and very interactive useful interface which bsps provides you will get few options and obviously the api access which you can use with your own systems with your own communication software right but meta will not separately provide a new brand new uh, ui interface no that's not available with cloud api right now the second question is if you want to access whatsapp api using bsp business solution provider like obviously i have mentioned few names the market leaders like wati interact ai sensi if you want to go with these kind of bsps to access api whatsapp api so how you can do this so let's start with wati i'm not going to explain you all these almost the procedure of all tools are uh, almost same so i'm going to explain you or i'm going to give you the tutorial with wati only right so let's directly go on google and you can search here wati right W A T I, that's it, and hit the enter button, and this is how the search result will appear. Where obviously you are getting ad from Wati, you are getting ad from Interact as well, right? And this is the organic search result. So if you click here, this is the website of Wati, right? These are the brands or the companies who are using Wati already, like J P Morgan. Vland, Zoom Car, so ton of tons of uh, big organizations are using Wati already. Now, if you have already created your account, you know, I mean, you have the access to Wati, then you can directly click on dashboard. Otherwise, you can click on book a demo, or you can click here free seven day trial. When you click here, you will get a free seven day trial, and obviously, you don't need to pay any. amount for that that is totally for free so here you need to obviously add few details like your name first name last name email address and all otherwise you can directly sign up with your facebook account or gmail id right so i'm going with google or gmail id both are same right and i've already 
logged in. So just you just need to give the access to your Gmail ID and this is how you are getting your trial. Now obviously you need to enter your number over here, mobile number. So let me add it and click on start my trial. When I click here, it is taking few seconds and I am into my trial. So obviously you need to enter few details over here like uh, your in which industry you are in so obviously I'm in education uh, what is your company website so I'll be adding here marketing fundas or let me just copy the URL of my website this is the URL I'm just selecting and copying this and pasting here that's it click on get started and obviously you need to connect your number but you can use whatsapp web technology to send messages as well like if you hit the next button what you can do is you can click on whatsapp web and this will open the whatsapp web of yours but no i'm not going to use it right now uh, obviously it is going to ask you to connect your number right because when you connect your number then only you'll be able to send the messages to different i mean to your uh, customers using that number right so let me just click on connect number and it is asking we are creating your trial will be automatically okay it is already loaded now if you want you can send invitation to your teammates and you can define the role for those teammates as well so there are many types of different roles like administrator broadcast manager who can send broadcasts only then template manager who can create templates only i'll explain you all these like template you might know already about the broadcast broadcast is basically sending a bulk messages for example you want to send thousand message to your customers i mean you want to send a message to your thousand customers one thousand customers so that will be known as broadcast i'm doing a broadcast right now and sending a message to my thousands of customers right and then we do have template i'll explain you all these things contact manager operator so tons of uh, different uh, roles are there you can assign those roles to your uh, teammates but for now i'm going to skip it so from here you can click on this connect now button and you'll be able to connect your number but uh, first you should read these few uh, lines before clicking on this connect now button because this is few things to know before you connect so mu you must have a admin access to your meta business manager first thing right and second thing you must have a facebook number that does not have a whatsapp account so why it is asking meta business managers admin access basically uh, you need to verify your business to use whatsapp api that's why i told you that meta verifies all the businesses and the businesses that comes with a blue tick i mean not blue tick a green tick on whatsapp contact are totally verified and how they verified through their meta business manager so obviously we know that meta's property is facebook instagram and whatsapp so the same number should have connected with your met facebook account i mean your uh, company page and it should have a meta business manager so now when you click here it will ask you to connect your facebook first so you can just click on this connect with Facebook and if you have logged in your Facebook uh, in this browser itself, you'll be able to automatically connect. Then you need to connect with the cloud API. So cloud API connection will be done by Wati itself. So you don't have to do anything extra. You just need to follow the procedure and you'll be able to connect with the cloud API, right? Then obviously uh, we need to connect with the cloud API that is coming directly from Meta, right? And that is how you will be able to use Wati or our BSP. In the same way, you can use AI Sensei or whatever you want to use to send thousands of messages to your customer. Now, I do have one more tool that is WA Notifier uh, and this is also a BSP business solution provider and here you'll be able to see message templates. The same term you will be able to see in AI Sensei, in Interact, in Wati as well, right? So templates are basically the messages which we verified from Meta itself, right? So in these BSPs or using WhatsApp API, you can't directly send whatever the message you want. As I told you in 
the bulk message sending tools right you can't send whatever you want first you need to verify few templates from meta once those uh, templates are verified you can use those templates to send uh, to your thousands or even hundreds and thousands of customers right and when the customer replies on that template message right when the customer replies on that template message then you will be able to start the conversation and if the customer doesn't reply you will be not able to uh, start the converse conversation basically you will be not able to write anything extra this is basically a part of facebook's uh, privacy so that you don't disturb your customers or whatsapp users by sending thousands of different uh, types of messages right so first to start the conversation you need to send them a template message the template message can be anything the marketing message any kind of offering any kind of uh, discount any kind of product listing it can be anything but the thing is but the I, I mean the point is the template message should be verified you have to be uh, you have to get verified that template message from Met meta itself and the interface basically if you want to create a new template message you can go to add new in the same way you can uh, go to wati and you can create the template message like you can name this template message you can name the category and in here you can see marketing and utility or transactional right so uh, there are two or three kinds of category if it is marketing it is going to charge you different if it is utility or transactional then it is going to charge you different now uh, let me explain you the difference between marketing and utility transaction is all so first marketing is basically uh, the offerings or the discount messages we send to our user or to customer existing customer on a regular basis those are marketing category or you can say marketing templates and then we do have utility and transactional so utility is for if the customer is facing any kind of issue or any kind of problem with the uh, with the product or services and they are contacting or you are chatting on whatsapp with those uh, contacts that will be uh, comes in utility uh, category then we do have transactional category so transactional category is also like utility where if the user has done any kind of transaction maybe it is ordering a product right so if the customer or orders a product from your website so you send them a verification not verification you send them a order confirmation message through whatsapp and that comes on the transactional right so you send a message like your order is confirmed your order id is this and your order will be uh, delivered in few days something like that right so that kind of messages comes under transactional category then you can select the language you can select the template type it is limited time offer or product catalog as i told you if it is a any kind of offering any kind of discount it comes under limited time offer and you can add the title text and offer and date as well if it is a general product catalog if you are sending a product or service something like this then you can select the product catalog template then here you can type in the message whatever you want to write you can set the uh, footer as well if you want right you can add the call to action button whatever you want to write for example if i select this and this is how the limited time offerings template looks like right so you send this kind of uh, message to your customer if the customer replies to this message then you will be able to chat with the customer right and once you are done with your creating i mean once you are done with the template creation you can just hit the submit for approval button and this was sent to meta and they will verify all the things and if everything is correct you will be able to use this template to send i mean you'll be able to send this template to thousands of your existing customers right this is how this template message works now you need to understand one more thing and that is the window period basically if the uh, for example i have sent this template message to my 1 uh, 100000 customer i do have 100000 customer on my website and I do have contacts of those 100,000 customers. I have sent this template, this particular template, to my 100,000 customers, and few of them have replied me back. Now, what is the window period? I mean, what is the timing, or how much timing I do have to reply them back? It is 
24 hours you have a 24 hours of window right if you are not able to reply them within 24 hours then the window period will expi expire and you'll be not able to uh, reply them back if unless and until they reply you back again and the window period starts or the window cycle starts again right you can check that thing in your inbox as well so after sending them messages if the customer replies you back you will be able to see those messages in the inbox option right something like this so here right now I'm seeing all messages but if you click on active you'll be able to see which chats have open window period so basically if the customer have replied me back under 24 hours then I'll be able to see this those chats on or the conversations on this active section and the close section will for uh, is for the expired windows right which is more than 24 hours now there are a few more things which you need to understand like the message messaging limit as you can see right now I do have only 1k messaging limit so basically whatsapp or meta doesn't allow you to directly message to thousands or hundreds of thousands of customers from the very first day what you need to do is uh, first you get only 250 messaging limit on a 24 hours so basically if you are doing everything properly and if you're not getting restricted from your customers basically if your uh, the customers is not reporting your messages then gradually this limit increases to 500 then 1000 then 10,000 then it goes to 100,000 this is how this limits uh, increases gradually if everything goes right so here you can check your quality rating in a same way you can check on Wati, AI Sensei or any other platforms as well all DSPs uh, provides all the features all features are available and obviously these DS, uh, BSPs are backed with Meta's cloud API right so in different different plan you get different different kind of resources like uh, in WA notifier I do have this uh, message template which provide me, which have 250 message template limits then I do have this contact limit of 10,000 messages limit of 40,000 and the notification marketing notifications is in fine infinite right so this is startup plan so in different plans you get different resources and according to the plans you pay to these companies now after this obviously there are many other options like uh, automation analytics part where you can check out how many of your customers are replying back or how uh, with how much or with how many customers you are able to engage now it is totally your call like which tool you want to use whether it is wa notifier wati ai sensei interact it is totally up to you now guys there's one more thing which you need to understand and that is how to get verified tick on whatsapp because despite of having uh, or using whatsapp api business api you don't get this green tick on your chats something like this right you might have seen these kind of uh, green ticks just aside the name of your popular uh, businesses with whom you uh, purchase your product or services something like this right so what is the procedure to get this green tick because this increases the uh, trust on your brand and obviously if you are sending messages from this these kind of accounts so there's a high chances of getting uh, engagement from your customers right so first let me explain you few benefits of having this blue tick on your chat so first obviously contact appear contact appear or name instead of number so instead of phone number or instead of mobile number the contact name appears right like this or brand name appears like cash girl or angel one so the brand name will be appear instead of a mobile number if you get this green tick right then obviously it increases the credibility and trustworthiness and enhance the visibility as well if you are getting this green tick obviously this uh, this stand outs you from different other contacts in the whatsapp chat right and then of this is one of the best way to make you present officially right so you can make official presence using whatsapp whatsapp api and having the screen tick now what is the procedure to get the screen tick let me show you 
let me take you to the procedure basically what are the requirements so the first one is obviously api access so after getting the api access after you got access to uh, Wati or WA notifier or any other BSP, then only you will be able to apply for this green tick. So this is not the only requirement. You need to uh, fulfill all these requirements in order to get that green tick. Second one is tier two or higher messaging level. So if you are on your initial basis where you are having only 250 messaging uh, limits on daily basis, so you'll be not able to get that uh, green tick right so you have to go to tier 2 or higher messaging level then after that you need to have your meta business manager verified it is very to very important to have a meta business ma manager and that should be verified as well and the fourth one is pretty easy you have to enable your two-step verifications because some for some security reasons it is very mandatory right if you are not uh, enabling this then Facebook will not verify you with that green tick right and lastly you should have a positive brand value if you have a positive brand value then uh, it increases the chances of getting verified because this is not like if you are submitting the application uh, you will get the verification badge no it is not like that sometimes very uh, meta rejects the application as well so you need to fill fulfill all these requirements first then apply for the green tick and if you are properly fulfilling all these requirements then definitely you will get that green tick on your name so i hope this whole uh, whatsapp marketing course helps you and gives you a detailed idea about how you can start your own marketing using whatsapp api or overall whatsapp business